What's going on everybody? It's Island Hopper TV coming to you from Richmond, Virginia. Let's take a look around and show you guys what this place has to offer. All right guys, we are coming to you from the Commonwealth of Virginia in one of the largest major cities in Virginia, but also one of the oldest major cities in America, meaning that this is a really old city dating all the way back to 1742 when it was incorporated. Now, Richmond in and of itself, if you include the entire metropolitan area, is 1.26 million people making it the third most populated city in the state of Virginia. And here we are starting out on Main Street. This is where the Main Street station is. So if you guys come in on an Amtrak, you may actually stop here. They do have two Amtrak stations in Richmond, by the way. This one just so happens to be the most beautiful one of the two. But uh, yeah, we're down here on Main Street. This is a place where you can go get some pub activity and uh, you know check out some of the local shops. One of the original industries out here in Richmond was the flour milling. So in the early 19th, 19th century here, you could see they had several mills for doing flour. So flour alongside tobacco were some of the big industries that helped build Richmond. Now bear in mind, Richmond is actually one of the oldest major cities in all of America. So it's a pretty old historical city. When you come here, there's gonna be lots of Civil War history, even Revolutionary War history. So do be prepared to see some museums. This here is a Virginia State uh, historical landmark where the lock meets the James Rid River. So you can see it way off in the distance there. Here's a map of the canal basin and the canal and the Tidewater Connection Locks that all connect into the river here, which we're gonna go take a look at the river walk along the James River. Here's something I didn't expect to see out here in Richmond, Virginia, prickly pear cactus. And here we actually are standing on top of the canal. Right over here is going to be the river. And then there'll be a couple museums like the Civil War Museum coming up ahead here. And if you guys wanted a relaxing stroll, you could do this canal walk up and down here. You can see both sides of the canal crossing back and forth. You can see here, this is uh, Brown's Island named after Elijah Brown who acquired this island here. And you can see this is part of the electrical system for the railroad. Oh, the streetcars, I should say. Brown Island was originally used by the Confederate States Laboratory for ordnance, but then in the Industrial Age, it became part of the Richmond Union Passenger Railway and the coal power plant on the island and a hydroelectric power plant. This here is the Tyler Porterfield pedestrian bridge you can cross the James River to the other side there is an exhibit right here where you can check out some of the history some people were happy when the war was over and some people were sad uh, because of what happened with the outcome so that's what this memorial bridge commemorates so as you can see this island does have a great deal of history 
uh, that dates back all the way to the 1700s. But nowadays, it's mostly used for recreational purposes. People like to come out here for a stroll along the James River or bike ride, doing whatever you like to do to just meditate and relax out in nature. As you can see right here, I'm standing in front of a water wheel that's still in action. This here is the Tred Tredegar Visitor Center. It's a national uh, museum. So it's part of the National Park Service, but this is the Civil War Museum. So it's part of the Department of Interior National Park Service. Right here along the James River is the John Smith Trail. Now we're gonna go up to the top of that hill there and take a look at the mountain. All right, we've made it to the top of the hill above the Civil War Museum, and here we are at the Virginia War Memorial. You can see lots of information here, names inscribed here, Appomattox, Bristol, Carroll, Roanoke City, they're all on the walls here. This house right behind me is a National Historic Monument as well. It is Samuel Pleasant Parsons house. And you can see he was a Quaker. Now we're headed over to the Hollywood Cemetery, but while we're walking over there, you can see the uh, old historic Victorian style homes of Richmond, Virginia. Just found out the two presidents that were buried here, James Monroe and John Tyler. I know that John Tyler was the 10th president. I'm not sure exactly what number James Monroe was, but they have their memorials inside of this 200 acre cemetery. Here in the Hollywood Park Cemetery, there are historic figures that are buried right here. There's also some Civil War uh, Confederate soldiers that are buried here, and they do uh, walking tours. So if you're interested in that, look it up online, Hollywood Park Cemetery uh, walking tours. If you ever wondered what it looks like to walk through a Virginia neighborhood, in particular here in Richmond, look at all those tall trees and 
very lush and green. It's like walking through a effervescent garden. St. Andrew's Episcopal Church. You can see it's made out of real rock. And if you look at the top, they have a copper steeple right there at the top of this thing. So that's pretty cool. And uh, look how rustic and old this is. There's also another one you might want to check out called St. John's Cathedral. We didn't get around to it in this particular travel guide, but add that to your list. Actually at that St. John's Church is where Patrick Henry gave his final commencement speech where he said, give me freedom or give me debt. That happened here in Richmond, Virginia at the St. John Church. Right here behind me, we have the Virginia Commonwealth University. This is an engineering department, but you'll be able to see uh, all across here, right in the heart of Richmond is that university. Behind me here, you have the famous Jefferson Hotel. Overall, I would say that Richmond, Virginia is a very nice town and I would go back. And if I did, I would spend more time there. So I would say you need at least 24 hours in Richmond if you come through. In this case, we only did half a day, but I would like to spend more time here because there is so much more to see. And uh, you could probably do 48 hours or even longer if you really wanted to get in tune with the city right anyways guys thanks for watching this episode of island hopper tv from richmond virginia and we will see you on the next one